off duty. Oh, yes, Mrs. Van Hopper's cold's turned into flu, so she's going to train nurse. I'm sorry for the nurse. You keen on tennis? No, not particularly. That's good. We'll go for a drive. Stop biting your nails. Oh, I wish I were a woman of 36, dressed in black satin with a string of pearls. <laughs> you wouldn't be here with me if you were. Would you please tell me, Mr. Fernando, why you asked me to come out with you? Oh, it's obvious that you want to be kind, but why do you choose me for your charity? I asked you to come out with me because I wanted your company. You've blotted out the past for me more than all the bright lights of Monte Carlo. But if you think I just asked you out of kindness or charity, you can leave the car now and find your own way home. Go on, open the door and get out. Please don't call me Mr. De Winter. I have a very impressive array of first names. George Fortescue Maximilian. But you needn't bother with them all at once. My family call me Maxim. And another thing. Please promise me never to wear black satin or pearls. Or to be 36 years old. Yes, Maxim. Come to say goodbye. We're going away. What on earth are you talking about? It's true. We're going now, and I was afraid I wouldn't see you again. Where's she taking you to? New York. I don't want to go. I shall hate it. I shall be miserable. I'll dress in here. I shan't be long. Which would you prefer, New York or Mandalay? Oh, please don't joke about it. Mrs. Van Hopper's waiting, and I th I'd better say goodbye now. I repeat what I said. Either you go to America with Mrs. Van Hopper, or you come home to Mandalay with me. You mean you want a secretary or something? I'm asking you to marry me, you little fool. I didn't expect the whole staff to be in attendance. Mr. Stanford's orders, sir. Oh. Sorry about this. Won't take long. I'm sorry I was such a time, but I had to find a rope for Jasper. Hurry up, Jasper, for heaven's sake. Please wait for me. Make some words. You, you look so angry. You know I didn't want you to go there, but you deliberately went. Why not? There was only a cottage down there and a strange man who was... You didn't go into the cottage, did you? Yes, the door... Well, don't go there again, do you hear? Well, why not? Because I hate the place, and if you had my memories, you wouldn't go there or talk about it or even think about it. What's the matter? Oh, I'm sorry, please. We should have stayed away. We should never have come back to Mandalay. Oh, what a fool I was. I made you unhappy. Somehow I've hurt you. Oh, I can't bear to see you like this. Because I love you so much. Do you? Do you? Ah, I've made you cry. Forgive me. I sometimes seem to fly off the handle for no reason at all. Don't I? Come. We'll go home and have some tea and forget all about it. Yes, let's forget all about it. Here, let me have Jasper. of the honeymoon have arrived at last. We timed, you think, before dinner? What on earth have you done to yourself? Oh, nothing. I, I just ordered a new dress from London. I hope you don't mind. Oh, no. Only, well, do you think there's a living's right for you? It doesn't seem your type at all. I thought you'd like it. 
And what have you put under your hair? What the devil do you think you're doing? Beckham. But it, it, it's the picture, the, the one in the gallery. What is it? What have I done? Go and take it off. Doesn't matter what you put on, anything will do. What are you standing there for? Didn't you hear what I said? Her shadow has been between us all the time, keeping us from one another. She knew that this would happen. You love me very much, don't you? But it's too late, my darling. We've lost our little chance of happiness. No, Maxim, no. Yes. It's all over now. I knew where Rebecca's body was. Lying on that cabin floor on the bottom of the sea. How did you know, Max? Because... I put it there. Will you look into my eyes and tell me that you love me now? You see? I was right. Too late. No, it's not too late. You're not to say that. I love you more than anything in the world. Oh, please, wax and kiss me, please. No. It's no use. I don't mind this whole thing, except for you. I can't forget what it's done to you. I've been thinking of nothing else since it happened. It's gone forever. That funny young lost look I loved. Won't ever come back. I killed that when I told you about Rebecca. <laughs>